celebration of Thanksgiving week. We are doing a special Thanksgiving prop bets all throughout the week. Uh, today's is total passing yards on Turkey Day. Let's take a look at who we have. We've got number two, Derek Carr, uh, obviously for the Raiders. He is averaging 30, th or sorry, 304.1 yards per game. Uh, behind him is Dak Prescott, who is ranked seventh at 284.1 yards. Uh, Josh Allen in the eighth spot, 281.1 yards per game. Uh, Jared Goff sits in number 19, 234 yards. Number 21 is Trevor Simeon, <clears throat> who will be in for the Saints, most likely. 230 yards for him. And number 35, Justin Fields, obviously for the Bears. Again, we don't really know who's going to be in those spots, but he is averaging 160.4 yards per game. Arky, talk us through this. Yeah, so it's sort of interesting to try to figure this one out, right? Because we're still <laughs> talking about teams that are, um, you know, dealing with some real significant injuries. I'll start with the Cowboys because they got two of the yep. most significant ones on offense for Dak Prescott. Amari Cooper and CeeDee Lamb yes. both going to be out for Thursday afternoon's game. And, and that's a big deal because the Raiders do give up a pretty decent chunk amount of yardage uh, through the year. They give up uh, 231 yards a game. And while that's, you know, it's not the worst in the league, it's not the best, um, and the Cowboys give up a whole bunch of yards, too, but they're going to go up against uh, Derek Carr. And Derek Carr has been great, mm -hmm. but the Cowboys also have played stingy on defense at times this season, and they're probably going to have to be really consistent and good on that side to be able to win that game on Thursday because their offense is going to be a little limited. Then you look at someone like the, the, the Bears taking on the Lions and. Justin Fields being um, 35th in the league in passing yards per game. And the Lions, they give up a bunch. But the weapons just really aren't going to be there for the most part outside of Moody uh, for, for the Bears uh, in, in that game. And that could be what I think is a potentially watch-out game for the, the Bears. And I think the Lions might be able to win that game at home on Thanksgiving. And then you look at Josh Allen going against the Saints. right? Josh Allen is a yeah. really, really good quarterback. He's... Uh, what do we have at 19, uh, excuse me, eighth in the league in passing yards. And the Saints, surprisingly, are really, really not great when it comes to pass defense. They got lit up um, at the last game against uh, Philadelphia, but that wasn't all through the year. Uh, the Saints' big claim to fame right now is their rush defense is very, very good. Um, one or two games aside, the numbers still uh, blow it out for them. Um, that game's also going to be in New Orleans. I don't know if Josh Allen's going to be able to be nearly that good on the road in, the, in that Superdome against the Saints team who is desperately trying to stay in a playoff race right now. And the, yep. and the Bills who are coming off a short week and a really tough, really tough outing against Indianapolis. So all that sort of being said, I think I'm going to kind of lean toward the least of all the teams or at least of all the weaknesses, which is probably Derek Carr. And it's kind of sort of a favorite pick right now because he's the number two guy on this list in the entire league in yards per game that he's averaging. But he's also going to have the best opportunity to have the most yards per game, right? Like True. the other teams just, when you look at the possible, possible strengths they have, really are going to be mitigated by some of the weaknesses that they would have too. So mainly with when we talk about Dak Prescott losing a mm -hmm. couple of wide receivers. So... I think I'm leaning Derek Carr in this case, and and I don't like to do it because they're going to go against my boys on Thanksgiving. But them boys are probably slinging around a lot. Okay, I love everything you just said. I'm going to talk through these by game. Uh, so again, going back to the Chicago Detroit Fields, we don't know if he's playing. Four touchdowns on the season. His season high in a game is 291. Andy Dalton's, by the way, is 206. Um, we've got Jared Goff. He's at over 2,100 yards on this season. Eight touchdowns. His highest scoring game came against the 49ers in week one, or sorry, passing game, uh, with 338 passing yards. Um, looking at Vegas, Dallas, Carr, obviously, he's on fire. Uh, over 3,000 yards, 16 touchdowns. Season high came against Baltimore in week one um, at 435 passing yards. His next highest game was 386. So the guy can throw. Uh, Dallas Prescott uh, has 20 touchdowns on the season, over 2,500 passing yards. His highest game was 445 passing yards against New England in week six. His next highest was 403. So definitely potential there. Um, as you mentioned, those injuries, though, are going to be a huge factor. Looking at Buffalo Saints, uh, Josh Allen, over 2,800 yards, 21 touchdowns. Highest passing game came against the Jets in week nine with 366. 
Uh, and last but not least, the quarterback carousel of Winston, Trevor Simeon, and Taysom Hill. Winston, 1,100 yards, 14 touchdowns. We don't know. Uh, do we know who's going to be in for uh, New Orleans? Is it going to be Trevor Simeon still? Uh, it's probably going to be Simeon, but uh, Taysom Hill's still fighting the concussion, but he probably will still be able to play. Listen, it's, it, New Orleans is a disaster sort of trying to figure <laughs> them out, too. It's a mess. Alvin Kamara might be back, might not. We'll, we'll, we'll sort of see. He's been heard up and heard the last month, so... It's, it's New Orleans is a wild ride to figure out, too. Who knows? All right. Well, taking all of this into account, uh, my money would, again, be with you uh, and Derek Carr or Dak. I know Cowboys have a lot of injuries. I just feel like it's Thanksgiving at home for Dallas. So I'm going to lean Dak on this one. We'll make it yeah. interesting. Yeah, I'd, I, would love to be, I would love to be with you. But we're only paying attention to that and not the game. The Cowboys have not had the best recent record on Thanksgiving. So uh, I, I will lean to root for what you're wanting for. And if that works out, <laughs> that's fine by me. I don't mind losing. Well, this, is a pro- this is a prop bet I don't mind losing, I'll be honest with you. It sounds like Dallas is due to have a big one on Thanksgiving, though, right? I, I feel like I've been saying that for six years. <laughs> <laughs> you and every other Cowboys fan. Yeah, yeah. All right, we shall see who comes out of that on top. <laughs>